Hi. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about procrastination. Um, and this is something that I don't think many people automatically see as a blocker to self-confidence. But at its root, procrastination is almost always based on some kind of fear. And typically it's fear of failure. And that's because we doubt in our abilities and we doubt ourselves. Um, it could be a fear of doing a job badly or fear that you didn't prepare enough or, you know, fear because you don't know where to start or fear that you don't know enough. Um, and so this is something that's come up with a, with a lot of my clients this week, particularly, and I wanted to kind of give you some tips on how to overcome procrastination and, and fear of failure. So it's important to remember that when we're born, we don't have these fears. Somewhere along the line between the time that we were born and where we're at now, um, you know, maybe we were scolded for doing a bad job or we looked foolish because we hadn't prepared for something as well as maybe what we should have. Um, and the subconscious now sees that as unsafe and essentially is really trying to protect you from going through the same trauma again. So the trick to getting over this fear is to break what you're trying to do into small bite-sized chunks um, that you can then put into action. And in that way, you're actually tricking your brain into believing that it's safe. So step one would be to acknowledge the thoughts and just let it go. Remember, thoughts are just thoughts. They aren't true unless you decide that they are. Step two would be to break the action down into those small bite-sized chunks. And step three would be to start taking action. One small step at a time, okay? And with each step, your subconscious is going to be like, oh, that's not so bad. This is actually safe. And so the next time you do that action, it'll be so much easier because now your brain has this positive point of reference. Um, and you know, it's just, it gets easier. Um, another exercise I get my clients to do is to grab a piece of paper and to split it into four columns. <clears throat> and in the first column, uh, write, what is the action that you're putting off? So that could be something like getting into a new relationship. Um, in the second column, write the heading, describe the situation where you're tempted to put off the action. So that could look something like, uh, Jane is having a party. She wants me to meet this guy, uh, that she thinks is perfect for me. Um, in the third column, write, what are the payoffs putting off this action? So in other words, how is this procrastination keeping you safe? Um, and that could be something like, by putting off meeting this guy, I won't get my heart broken again. And then in the last column, write, what can I say to myself in this situation to help me complete the action? So for example, you could say, meeting new people doesn't necessarily mean that I'll have my heart broken. I've learned from my past and I trust myself to make um, the best decision for me. So I really truly hope this serves you and I'd love to hear your feedback and um, drop a comment below.